In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil RL Burrows and the Gillette Super Speed Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in, folks. Welcome in today. As mentioned before, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil Aro Burrows. And this one comes to you for $17.99 for four ounces. And on our call chart there, that is a fair price of $4.49 per ounce. The scent on this is a nice dragon's blood type of scent. I'll put the scent description for you on the screen right there. To my nose, it's sort of herbal, sort of like an incense sort of vibe. Some of the notes, orange, grapefruit, rose, jasmine, patchouli, uh, vanilla. Scent strength on this one is probably medium high. You have no problem smelling this one. It's pretty stout right out of the tub. And this is in the Murphy and McNeil Aeon base, which I like a lot. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is a tallow base soap. Easy to work with, easy to lather. I got a really good lather with it easily. And we're looking forward to using Murphy and McNeil um, Ouroboros today because it should be a really fun uh, shave, at least I hope. I'm going to be using the vintage, uh, this is the Gillette Super Speed Black Handled Razor, which is a twist to open, which means you twist the bottom and it opens up and we have a Gillette Nasset blade loaded in there. I think this razor dates back to like maybe 1971 or somewhere thereabouts, so it should be a nice mild shave and we'll just have an enjoying, or we'll enjoy a nice shave today, or at least I hope. Let's go ahead and wet the face and remember all the products that are available. I will link below the black handled super speed here. You have to get on eBay. Um, it's a vintage razor. So that's where you can find most vintage razors, eBay, Etsy, something like that, or on a buy, sale and trade forum. Brush for today, a uh, razor rock 400. And we'll see how we do today with our Murphy and McNeil. Again, I think Murphy and McNeil, I, me I mention this every time I, I use it, is, a, is an underrated soap. It is very good. That is a very nice, creamy lather. I put some good hydration to it today, and I like the Aeon base a lot. It's well-priced, great service at Murphy & McNeil, really nothing not to like at Murphy & McNeil. And again, if you like Dragon's Blood sort of scents, which I would classify this one as, because I've smelled other soaps before that were called Dragon's Blood that um, sort of smell similar to this, this is a very nice one. Again, spicy, herbal, maybe even almost like an incense, something like that would be the way I would describe it. So. If that is your jam, you may want to check this one out. And again, the quality on it, quite good, which is what I would expect. I need to sort of make sure I'm uh, moving at a rapid click. I'm not going to rush it, but I'm not going to spend all day babbling today either. At least I'm going to try not to because I have a lot of things to do today. And uh, it's just a busy day in store, generally speaking. All right, let's try to wipe our hands off here and we'll get busy with our Gillette or black handled Gillette Super Speed, which again, for me, most of the um, vintage razors feel kind of mild. Um, they don't have a ton of blade feel, but I still get great shaves with them. But there is some blade feel here. It's not completely devoid of it. So I enjoy using this razor from time to time. I don't use vintage razors a ton, but I do own quite a number of them and I do enjoy them. And they are nice, smooth shavers. They have stood the test of time, so that's always nice. And as expected, the uh, the Murphy and McNeil soap here don't grow very well. Um, plenty of slickness, cushion glide, no problems whatsoever. If you haven't tried Murphy and McNeil, give it a shot. And I think I have an affiliate code too. I'll put it on the screen there for you. I am CDB. I don't know if you get anything for that, but if you buy from the Murphy and McNeil website and use that, it helps the channel. So thank you if you do. But certainly not required and don't do it on my account if you're not going to buy something but if you are plug that in and uh, it will help the channel so thank you but anyway um, I really enjoy Murphy and Manuel products generally very very nice great service as I mentioned before Bill there super nice guy and he has a lot of great soaps um, many many great scents and this is yet another one if you like the style of scent 
I'm not sure that everybody likes this style of scent because it is a little herbal, spicy. Um, but for me, it's pretty nice. I've enjoyed my first pass here, and we may try to do two passes today just to save a little time. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably end up doing three anyway. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'd love to shave. Sort of one of those things that just starts me off on the right foot, and that is very nice on the lather there. And I had no problems lathering it. Ease of use on this, quite good. Scent strength, quite good. Everything about this, quite good. And that's usually where I find the Murphy and McNeil soaps in good quality, good price relatively, at least. And uh, this one is no exception. We'll sort of speed up the lathering a little bit so we're not lathering all day long. Very nice. That's plenty good enough. Good enough. All right. I tell you what, I really... Murphy McNeil is just one of those brands that when I use it, it kind of makes me happy, you know, because you like to support good folks and folks who have good customer service and, you know, uh, so I'm always happy to support the good folks at Murphy and McNeil and of course many, many other artisans as well, but Murphy McNeil is definitely one of my favorite brands, I would say. There we go. Very nice. Again, mild shaver here with the vintage Super Speed. And I think this one dates back to around, I think I said before, 1971. So it's about what, 50 years old, 51, something like that. So it's been around for a while. And has stood the test of time. And, and that is, uh, that could be said, I think, for a lot of vintage razors. Even though these are twist to open, they've held up very well. We'll go ahead and hit that side again with for a cross pass real quick. And when I do this, usually I'm just doing it to save a little time while I'm while I'm working over there I'll just hit it real quickly for a cross and we won't spend all day lathering it we'll just slap a little bit of lather on it and that is plenty good enough if your lather is on point you don't really need a ton of it on your face just enough to provide that uh, platform slick platform for the razor to glide on and again blade today Gillette Nasset on its first use and it feels very nice. Nasset has just sort of become my go-to blade. I almost use it exclusively. I probably have thousands of other blades, literally. Um, but I've bought a lot of Nassets and I've just really been enjoying how smooth and sharp they are. What I'm looking for in a blade is the sharpest blade that still maintains smoothness while also being cost effective. And so I also like feather blades, some people don't, I do, but they're pricey and so I don't use them as much. The Nasset though, I've discovered is very sharp, but it's also very smooth. And so I tend not to be flipping around blades. I have a lot to flip through, but when I find something that I like, I usually just stick with it and try it in as many razors as possible. And I find one of the things about the Nasset is it tends to, it tends to work for me and all my razors. So it's not, it doesn't seem to be a blade that, you know, is picky, so to speak, lack of a better way of explaining it. You can kind of use it in anything, or at least I can. You may not. Uh, blade choice is really, really subjective. If you're new, there's no guarantee that you will love the Nasset. Maybe you love Feather. Maybe you love, you know, who knows what, Astra, you know, uh, Persona. There's so many great blades out there, but Nasset has always worked really well for me, or at least since I've been using them regularly over the last couple years. It's really my go-to. Okay, that's good enough. And let's finish this shave up strong. We've been, for those of you who are still here, spending quite a bit of time at the hospital. Uh, my mom is definitely recovering. It's a little bit slow going, but her, you know, white blood cell count is starting to recover, which is good, but she's pretty weak. She can't eat much. Um, but, you know, we're we're still in the fight and she is recovering day by day and maybe, uh, you know, initially I think uh, they thought she might be able to come home last weekend, but that was a little ambitious and she was fighting pneumonia as well. So a lot of, uh, a lot of things to overcome, but she's definitely in the fight and engaged and doing well. So we look forward to bringing her home and then looking after her here and we'll stay as long as it takes to get her on her feet and back to you know normal and thank you all for your kind words and thoughts and prayers and so that's why i haven't done any lives 
I haven't done any head shaves. I just haven't, I strictly haven't had time. My days are completely full from about the time I get up to the time I go to bed. Because as I've mentioned before, my father is also disabled. And so when I'm not at the hospital, you know, I'm preparing mail, um, meals here, going to the store, doing household chores, you know. So it's, it's, uh, it's quite a busy time for me. <laughs> But not complaining, it's an honor to do it, but I just don't have as much time to spend in the hobby. And that's, I'm, I'm sure most of you understand that, or all of you probably understand that. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using, if I can get a hold of it, the Magic Made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil. Auro Burros, and this was a very, very nice soap. Great quality, great scent. I really enjoyed it. If you enjoy Dragon's Blood sort of scents, this one is very, very nice. Check out the good folks at Murphy and McNeil. We also used our Vintage Gillette Super Speed Black Handled Razor and had an excellent, nice, mild, easygoing shaver with that as well. The brush for today was the Razor Rock 400, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will fin finish it out, excuse me, once again today with the fine platinum and we are working our way towards the bottom of this one and we're about ready to put another aftershave to bed which is great because i have a ton i need to use up and man that smells nice still won't last long but it smells great i want to thank you all for joining me today i really appreciate it till next time i've been your host cdp reminding you it's your shave do it your way as always god bless